right, so we want to take you live to Boca Chica, Texas, where SpaceX is about to test launch its giant Starship rocket, the largest one ever built. This will be its third attempt at flying, though. The first time it exploded, the second time it self-destructed. After an onboard fire, SpaceX founder Elon Musk hopes this rocket will one day carry humans to the moon and Mars. Now, liftoff was supposed to be at 8.30 this morning, but it got pushed back. So it looks like, uh, I don't know if we got a clock or, or not, this, this feed's actually coming from SpaceX. And we've got one minute on the clock or so, in and around one minute. Vlad. So, uh, are we? Oh. Be shocked if we hold. Okay, we're going to listen in. We're going to listen in. Sounds like the winds are cooperating today, and we'll be able to move right past that, not tracking any other technical issues that could hold us. past our QD van gate. Through the QD van gate, past, past the 40 second hold. Go for launch. Flight Director Ty Huntington telling the team we are go for launch. So 20 seconds to go. Let's listen in. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster booster and ship avionics power and telemetry nominal acquisition of signal corpus christi We're continuing to get good call outs our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal systems looking nominal just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic, so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Now, the, the next major milestone is going to be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're going to be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're going to shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. That'll be our Miko, our most engines cut off. And then the clamps holding the two stages together are going to release. Starship second stage will ignite its engines, the RVAX first, the sea levels right after that. The sea level engines will be splayed or just kind of pointed out at about a 15 degree angle. So if you look close and we get good tracking, you might be able to see those center right after. And so those six engines will push Starship off of the booster. All right, counting down now, we're gonna be coming up right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle. And then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Boosters now making its way signal. back, yeah. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh man, uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up 
from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, these are live views from Starship. Uh, first stage is currently performing. Ship avionics, power and telemetry nominal. Good there, news informing us that the second stage or the ship, everything looking good, nominal there. First stage is currently performing the boost back burn, expecting that to last about one minute. That boost back burn. Uh, that boost back burn propels the booster back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're uh, only using the super heavy booster's 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. Wow, these are just incredible views coming to us. Everything is looking good for both the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen or the super heavy booster as well as on the right-hand side of your screen, that is Starship, or we also refer to that as the ship. Now the boost back burn uh, was the first of two burns required to return it to Earth. The next one will be the landing burn, where all 13 center engines will initially ignite and then transition into a three engine burn uh, to help slow it down. Now just as a reminder of the stage one test objectives, uh, we're looking for controlled ascent, which we have so far. Uh, stage separation, which gorgeous, we cruised right through it, uh, as well as on a nominal trajectory. Good news there, telling us that the path that Starship is on uh, is good. Now, Starship's second stage is still firing its engines, and as you heard, following planned flight path. Uh, the ship objectives, we're looking for hot staging, again, cruised right through that. We're looking to demonstrate controlled ascent as well as orbital insertion. Now, the bottom right-hand corner of the screen shows the ship uh, engine graphics, so be sure to keep an eye on those. Yep, Kate, like, this is just a, a phenomenal test so far. Super Heavy is performing beautifully today. It's on its return leg of the journey ship continuing to burn its six engines, those larger circles, the Raptor vacuum engines, the inner circles, the uh, Raptor sea level engines. We're ab about 30 seconds away, uh, just under 30 seconds away from the start of the boost back burn. Uh, excuse me, the landing burn on the booster. You can see the grid fins rotating. Those hypersonic grid fins are guiding us through the atmosphere back towards our splashdown site. Again, we're going for a hard, uh, for a splashdown, a soft splashdown. So for landing burn, we're going to expect to see the 13 center engines light, rapidly bring down the booster's velocity, and then just the three in the center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. We're getting a few, a few engines. And acquisition of signal. We'll see if we can get some other video of that. Now, uh, this is a test objective today. It is still something that we're attempting to learn. Um, and to make it that far to demonstrate the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. Ship continuing to look nominal with its ascent burn. This burn lasting uh, about six minutes total. And we're expecting that this burn will end uh, just after T plus eight minutes, about a minute from now. So far though, I mean, Congrats to the team. Making it this far is farther than, we, than we've gone Absolutely. on flight two. Just wonderful views and great engine performance from the vehicle. Okay, so perhaps the third time will be the charm for SpaceX's uh, Starship uh, rocket. This is the world's biggest rocket, nearly 400 feet tall, 30 feet wide, 11 million pounds when it's fully fueled. And the two other attempts ended in 
I mean, you could say failure because the ro you know the ro rocket exploded at, at, at one point, and then uh, there was a fire on board at another point. Though with each stage, there are successes, right? Very expensive successes and failures. But this time, it looks like things are going according to plan. So now, I think the plan is that the rocket's going to sort of fly around for a bit and hopefully land back on Earth without a problem. Mm -hmm. The long-term goal for SpaceX is to use this kind of rocket to bring people to either Mars or the moon, and this is the first step, step towards that. All right. Mm -hmm. Fitting that it's happening on Pi Day. Oh, yes. Which is a great science right. day. Hooray for science. Yeah, exactly.